Well, Virginia, there's always vegetation around at some point here. It might not be the most favourable vegetation for them, but I tell you what, what we're watching this morning is these guys feasting on different species of plants and just working from one to the next. One time it'll be roots and shoots and the next time it'll be bark and leaves and uh, lots of different types of um, air parts of the plants that are being consumed. But I would say water is probably the most uh, important thing. Elephants can uh, wait for a few days. They will. They will, they need water. That's no doubt about it. Um, but they like to drink every day. If they can drink twice a day, brilliant. If there's available water. But sometimes in parts of uh, Africa where water is difficult to find uh, and it's a long way away from food, they will walk to the food and feed for most of the day and then even feed for two days or potentially three even uh, without water if it comes to it but it's more likely about 20 to 24 to 48 hours uh, and then they will move vast uh, areas or travel long distances I should say to get to that water particularly happens with desert elephant more in Namibia and um, more arid places but here they have a permanent water source. There's two permanent water sources on Juma and several others around, <coughs> excuse me, on the reserves surrounding here. And uh, these elephants will know where they are and it'll be the matriarch. It'll be the female uh, or the normally the oldest, oldest, more experienced female that uh, will make sure that that happens on a daily basis. So the welfare of the herd definitely depends on uh, that matriarch. Her leadership um, is, is absolutely uh, the most important thing. I'm just going to try and move into a better position for Brian.